Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the data link layer design issues is error detection and correction. So actually the design issues of data link layer, uh, I already discussed about two design issues. The design issues of data link layer, the first one is the service provided to network layer. Framing is another design issue of data link layer. Next, error detection and correction. Error detection and correction. And the next one is the flow control. So these are the four main design issues of the data link layer. So, so far we discussed about the service provided to network layers and I already explained about the framing technique. Now let us see what is the error detection and correction design issue that is related to the data link layer. Actually this error detection and correction is a, uh, if you take any reliable system, a reliable system must have the mechanism to detect and correct the errors. Mechanism to detect and correct the errors. So whatever the reliable system may have taken that is already having a mechanism to detect and correct the errors. So let us see how uh, it is going to detect the errors and how uh, it is going to be correcting those errors. Now let us see. So before going to know about these uh, different error detections and correction techniques, let us see different types of errors. Types of errors. So we all know that error is nothing but if you if you send something, the receiver doesn't receive the sender item, then you, it may be error. Okay, if I if I tell something to my friend in the phone call, if he didn't receive exactly what I am sending, means there is some error in. Uh, while he is uh, listening because some data is missing in between this the sender and receiver some data is missing so that you call it as a error the three different types of errors actually there are three different types of errors will be present it's a basic error so I'm explaining about so the first one is the single bit what is a single bit error Single bit error is nothing but one bit of a data unit is changed from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. Only one bit of data. That's why we call it as a single bit. One bit of data changes from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So that you call it as a single bit error. Let me explain with example. Let us take... Uh, 8 bit of data so here I have taken one 8 bit of data so he this is a sender is sending this 8 bit of data now the receiver res, wants to receive the this 8 bit of data so he receives the data like so this is the receiver so what's the problem here? So the sender sends some data and the receiver receives that data. But in between this, some data, one bit of data is changed from 0 to 1. So did you observe here this? This is 0. Okay. And here it changes to 1. So 0 changed to 1. So a single bit of error was there. So, uh... An error can occur with a single bit or a group of bits or whatever it may be. So the first type of error is the single bit. Now let us see the second type of error. Uh, what is the second type of error? Let me write that. The second is multiple bit. So the first type is a single bit. Now I am talking about the multiple bit. Multiple bit means two or more non consecutive I am talking about two or more non-consecutive. Non-consecutive means not in a continuous order. 
okay those uh, two or more bits can be present somewhere or one bit is seventh position sixth position fifth position third position like that okay so two or more non consecutive not in a sequence it is a non consecutive bits in a data unit have changed from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 so here we have to think of, uh, about non consecutive bits that is a two or more non consecutive bits now let us see the example for this so now here the sender is sending uh, the send message was let us take uh, it is a 16 bit of data i am taking here 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 let us take this is 8 bit and 0 0 1 0 on 0 0 1 1 let us take this as a extreme bit of data now the receiver side receiver the receiver is receiving 0 1 0 1 0 0 uh, let us take 1 0 um, or else 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 so this is a data which the receiver receives now what are the errors here uh, so this is the same 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 and here this is a different the 0 is changed to 1 one error was occurred and again here one more error and here one more error so it may be uh, a non consecutive bits so this you call it as a corrupted bits corrupted bits the bits may not occur in a sequence it may occur in a, it is sixth position 12th position 15th position 16th position like that okay so this is about the uh, second type of error that is a multiple bit now let us see the third type of error the third type of error is the burst error before going to about to know about the error correction and detection techniques uh, detection and correction techniques you have to know the basic errors so that's why I'm explaining about these types of errors: single bit error, multiple bit error. Now let us see the burst errors. Burst errors means two or more consecutive. Here I'm talking about the consecutive bits, whereas in multiple bit error, uh, two or more non-consecutive bits. But here in the burst error means you have to take two or more consecutive bits in the data unit have changed from have changed from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Now let us see the example. Here the sender sent some message. The send message was let us take 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 let us take 1 1. So, this is the sender message. Now, the receiver at the receiver side. Let's see what he receives. So, the receiver side 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, I am talking about the two or more consecutive bits. That you call it as a burst error. So, did you observe the here the two? This is one error, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So, here, eighth. So, these are two or more consecutive bits. This is two or more consecutive bits are corrupted. That you call it as a burst error. These are the corrupted bits. So, these are the different types of errors. Single bit error, multiple bit error and the burst error. So, in the next video, I explain about the what is error detection and how we are going to correct the errors. And next, the different techniques that are involved in error detection and correction. Thank you.